Good evening, everyone. Aries the Lamb, the appointed time for Passover, May 5th to 12th, 2024. That is God's appointed time. Uh, many people struggle with uh, between Easter, the Passover, and etc. God's appointed time, have a specific appointed time. He said the sign, the, the sun, the moon, and the star are there for sun, signs, times, and seasons. And that is exactly what Genesis uh, 1 verse 14 is. Uh, when you see the star of Aries, Aries, that is Aries the Lamb, that is from the time of Noah. You know, Noah, when... Uh, that wasn't a part, uh, you know, when he was on the boat, he didn't have a Passover. So all that Noah just look at one, uh, the sign. And when you see the sun is in Aries, you must know there weren't many lights in those days. It was pretty dark. The Maseroth, the Zodiac, was God's calendar in those days. It was also the Bible in the sky. Seriously, people, every nation have the zodiac and that preached something to them and you can study the zodiac uh, the heavenly signs cannot lie um, the, the passover of uh, april the 7th was not a biblical was not god's appointed time but may 5th to uh, 12th to 2000 to, i mean 2024 is the correct apply day. By the way, my our anniversary, my, uh, myself and Barbara, we are married for 40 years. Our anniversary is on Friday, on the day of Passover. And I, I must say that is a, a, a blessed time to share your, your, wedding anniversary on Passover, of course, with what? With unleavened bread. With unleavened bread. I normally always share those seven days uh, uh, breaking bread and I, uh, do, uh, do, uh, not spe specifically fasting during that time, but I break bread every night. And um, it was not communion, people. It was Passover on that night. And I'm going to speak a little bit more on that subject later on. I am going to discuss also uh, the, the day of, of Passover, the day of 32 AD. I know there is a lot of controversy about the day when Jesus was crucified. Some say it is 28 AD, some say it is 29 AD, some say it is 31 AD. But as again I say the heavenly signs uh, do not lie. And the actual fact the lead lied to us and they said that uh, Jesus died 3 BC. You must add a more to it. Now, that was a lie. Jesus died in actual fact on 2 BC. That is to distract us. That is to distract us. And they are, in the Stellarian, the north is already inclusive. And you can count from the day of Jesus' birth uh, uh, unto the day of his ministry and unto the day of his crucifixion. Okay. So, um, sit back and uh, um, uh, watch the full video and share this video. What I want to say something, so many people write to me, like Fauzi was he uh, 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 two days ago, he said, I, uh, I don't see your videos anymore. Are you still making them or have you moved to Rumble or somewhere else? I haven't moved to any other uh, 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 platform. I'm still here uh, on uh, mostly on Facebook and YouTube and, and also on WhatsApp. WhatsApp, if you want to join me with WhatsApp, you know, I can share with you on WhatsApp or you can email if you do not get the post. Write your email down and I'll get a post. YouTube censor the post 
and they do not want you to know, they don't want you to know, it's a past uh, over now. Why does the devil don't want you to know that uh, the, uh, the uh, correct appointed time? Because there's a blessing in it. And I will have another post on that, just explain to you about the blessing, having it on a God's appointed time. I'm extremely happy when it comes to to pass over. I'm seriously, and uh, I'm going to give my pass over offering this this coming week to somebody that the uh, Holy Spirit appointed. Show me to whom I have given an offering. Uh, and then there's a blessing in the people. He say, do not come empty and read uh, Exodus, um, Exodus, uh, I think 23, Exodus 23, from verse uh, four, uh, 14 onwards. There are seven blessings in Passover as such. Now, let's start with from the beginning here. It, it says here, this month, shall be beginning of the months for you. It is to be the first month of the year to you. Now, in this regard, many people, uh, uh, believers, struggle with this as well. Some say, no, Nisan is the the beginning of the year. Some say it is, Nis it is um, you know, Feast of Trump, the fall feast is the... Uh, the beginning of the new year. So why is that two years? To make it plain and simple, people. This is what the word says. This month shall be the beginning of the month for you. It is to be the first month of the year for you. This was a season when, when uh, Israel came out of Egypt after 400 years in uh, uh, in Egypt and then for 40 years in the wilderness where God, uh, um, where they bonded with God in the desert. God chosen himself a peculiar nation and spread them throughout the, the uh, nations of the world that of course is uh, uh, Deuteronomy uh, 28, 28 verse 64. Uh, you are part of Israel. You are in Israel, uh, Israelite. If you die right now, then you will go to, through uh, to the 12 gates of the tribes of Israel. And why is that? Uh, you will find out. I'm not discussing that. In a, I have it in many of my other videos. But that is a fact. That is what Jesus carried, a breastplate of the 12 tribes on his chest, the father hath a ring on his finger of the twelve tribes of uh, of Israel, and that is you, my people. That is you. Believe it or not. Believe it or not. Yeah. Now concerning, although the Jewish uh, the Jewish uh, it's not the Jewish New Year, the Jewish New Year Rosh Hashanah is celebrated at the beginning of Tishri. This is actually the seventh month, and it is the head. Of the year people it is the head of the year yeah now in this manner the Jewish year began uh, uh, begins with uh, God's great redemptive plan that is of course Exodus the one that I just read to you this month shall be the beginning of months for you it is to be the first month of uh, the year for you the, this uh, 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 begins with God's great redemptive act at the time of Exodus from Egypt, people. Yeah, it's not uh, God, uh, Passover is not just a Jew, it's not a Jewish feast, it is God's feast. It is God's feast. It's written, it's God's feast. It is not a Jewish feast. God did not die alone for, uh, for the Israelite. He died for each and everyone. So, from that point of the, uh, the time, that is God's redemptive plan when it began. He said it many years ago already to, uh, to Adam, to God, uh, what the same also said it to Abram, that it's going to take place, uh, gave uh, to them his redemptive plan. Uh, but finally, 
on, uh, then when he came out, he gave them, that's the beginning of his redemptive plan for mankind. Yeah, so now, uh, um, let me begin again back to that, that, that verse. This month shall be the beginning of the month for you. It is the first month of the year. So here is uh, uh, Deborah, as uh, date set three, you know, and she uh, uh, said in the beginning, why am I beginning the year in April? And I wrote to De uh, 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 Deborah uh, um, an email and I told her that, that God's year, year, not God's year, the time, the pointed time will be on the 5th of May. And uh, uh, of course she did not, uh, uh, she did read it, but after all the, 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 um, going from place, uh, from place to place, you know, uh, uh, checking the Bali inspection report, she discovered that uh, doing the, the report uh, uh, from every week, every week, that the Bali was not Aviv, that was on the 7th of April, it was not Aviv. And then she came to the conclusion eventually that this could not be the, th the beginning of God's uh, month. It cannot be. And uh, that is why she wrote eventually, when should we, she said they wrote it yesterday, when should we begin this year? And she agreed, although she does not uh, 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 choose sides uh, as such. Uh, like I adamantly state, it is God's appointed time because the heavenly signs do not lie people. It does not lie at all. Now she asks, when should we begin this year? And she feels uh, that it is, she personally feels that it should start actually, the year started on April, April 21st. That is when they actually saw the first new moon. And uh, of course in Leviticus, God told Moses, count 14 days, 14 days from that month, from the, uh, the, from the new moon, and that will be the, the day that will be a Passover. And that is, of course, the day that Jesus Christ died for us on the cross of, uh, of, of Calvary. But let's get back to, uh, you know, from the current one. So this month, which is actually the Nisan, Nisan will be the beginning of the month, and I explained to you that will be the beginning of the redemptive month. That is, of course, his redemption plan. That for the that for, for that year, if you had to plain and simple. And Genesis, Genesis one verse one. In the beginning, God created the world. The world. In the beginning, God created the world, and there was. Uh, there was a void, there, there was a void, and there was a darkness upon the face of the earth. It says that. So I'm not going to what at the beginning, but God created the world, and that is on Feast of Trumpets. That's where God's here starts. But to Israel, he had to count them from that month, and then uh, uh, God operates in the month seven, of course, and Tishri will be then, uh, of course, the seventh month in God, and that month is the, crea was the creation day of the beginning of Tishri. Jesus was born on Feast of Trumpets. Yeah. That's what Jesus said, I am the Alpha and the, the Omega. So uh, Nisan is not the be beginning of time. N uh, that is, Tishri is the beginning of God's time clock. Uh, but for the sake of the civil calendar and the agricultural calendar, um, then you start with, with uh, Nisan, Nisan uh, that will be the beginning of months, and then you count from there unto it. So now, on April the 21st, there uh, began God's first month, and you count 14 days from there, and you arrived at May the 5th, which is Passover. And then the evening, uh, uh, that is same evening will be the 15th then, and there will be a full moon on there. Some people say the new moon is the, uh, is the, 
<laughs> There's a controversy about that and the full moon and the new moon, but I don't want to debate upon that, people. I believe the word of God. And uh, then uh, let's go con continue to the next verse. I want you to take to you to Luke then, Luke 22, 15, where Jesus said, and then I'll take you to the Stellarium. And he said unto them, with desire, with desire, I have desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. Jesus didn't say, uh, I have desired to eat this pass, uh, this uh, Easter with you uh, before I suffer. Jesus did not say, I desire to eat this, uh, have this communion with you before I suffer. Because communion is not in the Bible. Jesus did not make a new covenant. It, he said, this is a testament, a testament. It's a testament that I am the Passover. And the disciples was a witness to that. That I am the Passover lamb. That I am the one. That I am the one. Yeshua and Mashiach. They're coming to die for you on the cross of Calvary. And of course, the Jews rejected Jesus for that. And Jesus said, Jesus said to, uh, to the Jews, the rest of the world, the other, the, 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 uh, the Gentiles, the Gentiles is the Jewish nations, people. He said, first go preach unto the lost, uh, the lost tribes of Israel, which is the Gentiles. Go preach to them. And they accepted the law. But the Jews, Judah, Judah, some of them uh, uh, with his, including Simeon and uh, Benjamin and the, uh, uh, and the priests, they rejected, they rejected uh, uh, Jesus' salvation plan. And Jesus said they will receive another. And that person will come in his own name. And he also got two horns. Like a lamb. Yes. And that animal is found to be found in, in America, people. That animal is in America. I just want to show you in the Stellarium the day when Jesus died. But first of all, I want to show you when Passover, Passover our Passover will be. Uh, let me go into the, my keyboard. My keyboard is broken now to use, uh, if you can see this is a keyboard. Now I have to go from, uh, I must repair the keyboard. So uh, it's a real uh, struggle for me. So um, uh, yeah, let me go, 2000, uh, 2023, yeah. So that, uh, when was the, uh, let's go to our time frame, that's May. May the 5th, May the 5th. Remember Passover is from, is from May the 5th until the 12th. So uh, right here before the 6 o'clock already. Here you find that, um, here it is, and it's right in, let me just shift the date here down the lower side. There you can see, here's the rise around, just about 1500 hours. Approximately the same time uh, when Jesus died on the cross. I'm going there now. Yeah, you can see the sun is in Aries. Whenever they see the sun in Aries, they know it is Passover. You don't need to worry to go to uh, whether the Palis, uh, Aviv, or Aviv, or whatever the thing is, you know. That is one criteria that you can examine. But Israel uh, do not obey God's. Uh, God's instructions at this moment. And they never have the Passover. It's actually Satan. He changed the dates because he don't want you to have a God's uh, a blessing of his appointed time. And I'm going to discuss that uh, uh, blessings in the, next, uh, in the next video. Some people take advantage of it. But uh, I want to share, uh, share those that I know. That they do have videos already, but I want to share the actual blessings with you. And I'm going to do it also uh, in this coming week during Passover between, um, between the 5th and the 12th. So here on the 5th, right at the end, you see there the sun is in Aries. Now let's go back to, uh, uh, 
right there at 59 hours, Jesus, Jesus exhaled his last breath and he said it is finished. And it was right, it was darkness upon the face of the Lord, uh, at, uh, right at three o'clock. And in the temple as well, there were also darkness. How they managed to slaughter all those sheep in the darkness, of course they had light, uh, they had light. But right at the time when Jesus died, there was a huge earthquake. Right at this point, the sun was in Aries, and they could see, they could see it at, uh, at three o'clock. They could see, they could see it even from 12 o'clock, from 12 o'clock onwards, from 12 o'clock onwards, they could see in the darkness, they could see Aries in the land. For those three hours, they could see the, the sun turned into darkness. Jesus said it. But that is an Amos 5. At noon, I will make the make the, the day dark. Jesus said it. And right on Jesus' crucifixion, the sun became dark. And they saw Aries the land. And the sun could have even been red for that matter. But they they uh, thought it was, uh, you remember when it's smoking, with all of us, and there was an earthquake. There was a great earthquake. Remember the, the, the earthquake? The, the, those dust can, can make the sun even turn red. Same like, like the fires in California. And this is actually what's happening here. There were darkness upon the face and they could see eyes and red. The Pharisees, the high priests, and everyone could see it. The people could see it. They understood the signs in heavens at that time. Even the Roman soldier, he witnessed it and he said, surely this man is the son of God. He became born again right there at that moment at the foot of, at the, at the, foot of uh, the, the, the cross. He witnessed the son of God dying on the cross. For us, for us people, it's going to be a blessed Passover. Please share this video, people. Much love to you and much blessings.